In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own robotic simulation from NVIDIA Omniverse and something fancy 3D objects and backgrounds. I'm a Soo Young Kim from South Korea, Lot Balance, and I'm a robotic software engineer. Let's get it started. Before starting our tutorials, there's few things you have to have. Something like Isaac Sim, Omniverse Launcher, and USD Composer, and Cache, and Nucleus Navigator. If you want to know what those are, please watch my previous video. And the thing you have to keep in mind is the all and whole media applications should work properly during our tutorials. So click the Cache and Cache Setting button, and something in order that window will appear. And if you click the Apps button, and you have to check this all status is running. If you click the Nucleus Navigator and click the Launch button, if you can access to the NVIDIA's files or directories or folders like this, yeah, that means Nucleus Navigator is working properly now. The first step and the first thing we have to do is importing some kind of 3D models or backgrounds from the internet. So I'm going to launch the USD Composer first. If I click the Launch button, it'll take a few seconds. And yeah, in this step, I'd like to say that the name, the USD Composer, was previously NVIDIA Create. So they changed the name. Yeah. Today is January 20th, 2024, and this is the latest NVIDIA Omniverse and latest Isaac Sim and USD Composer, maybe they can change the name, but if they change the name or change the button name, please leave a comment on my YouTube video, please. The first thing we have to do in this USD Composer is click this access to our code on code beta. And let me say that I need some kind of simulation for our autonomous driving car. Therefore, I need a simulator with a load environment. I mean, the motorway or highway, something like that. So I'm going to type a load and enter. Yeah. You can see and you can watch there's many fancy and predefined 3D objects and models and environments. Today, I'm going to use this one, load traffic sign. If you have a Sketchfab account, you can download it right away. But if you don't have, I recommend to create one. But yeah, if you just want to look around the appearance of this model, just click the like button of your mouse and click this open in the web browser button. And you can look around this model with Sketchfab web browser. Mm -hmm. There's a traffic sign and traffic line, a traffic light and traffic lane, something like this. So I think this, yeah, seems like good and pretty cool. I'm going to use this and I'm going to double click this one and you can import this into your USD Composer. Honestly, I already downloaded these 3D models, but if you double click this icon of the objects, then it'll ask the location of where you want to download this model and my path is downloads and usd and here it is load traffic sign that usd z file so i'm going to use this usd z file and i will make the robotic simulation with this so let's create a new window and i will drag and drop this load traffic sign file now you can see this model on our Omniverse USD Composer. The second step is adding some kind of physical property. That is, I'm going to show you one simulation and demo. Just bear with me, please. If I create some basic polygon like cone or cube and run this simulation, yeah, it seems like there's no gravity. That's because there's no physical property on this cone and backgrounds. How can I add the physical property? That is, click the cone and add button physics. 
leisure body with gliders preset. And let's run this simulation again. It moves like there's no backgrounds and falls down. That's not exactly what we want now. So you might think, ah, oh, we need uh, some kind of physical property for our backgrounds. Yeah. Therefore, I'm going to add a physical property again to our backgrounds. Physics, leisure body with collider preset. Mm -hmm. But there's one problem, and I'm going to show you why. Click the run button. Yeah, now you can see that the background and cone first down or down together. So we don't need this property. The answer is add physics, not a rigid body with collider, but a just collider preset. And if I run this simulator again, yeah, this is what we want. The background will be a static, not move, and the object will move like there's some kind of blocking backgrounds and backgrounds with some bit of volumes. Now we are done. Let's delete this cone and yeah, before saving our environment, we have one thing to add. That is light. Create and light. And I'm going to add uh, this plant light. This light is something similar like a sunshine. Sunshine has always same directions on us. And this light works like that and like this. Mm -hmm. So 350 degree is equal to minus 45 degree I prefer more simple number and yeah that's all I'm gonna save this file um, how can I call this environment let me say that this is a traffic lane with sunshine I think this is boring but yeah let's just save this save now you can see there's a USD file that is named uh, traffic lane with sunshine.usd. That's all. Now the next step is move to the Isaac Sim and add a robot and build your own robotics loss simulator. I'm back and this is the Isaac Sim, not a USD composer. And I will add this, our previous model traffic line lane with sunshine.usd but there's one thing we have to do in this step that is I'm going to show you why and if I create a mesh and cone again and if I run this simulation seems like yeah I forgot to giving a physical property on this cone and let's add a physics and rigid body with collider preset and run this simulator again yeah seems like there's some volumetric, some kind of properties on our background. But the thing is, let's click the cone and see these numbers. Yeah, seems like this is a centimeter unit, not a meter unit, because, yeah, this now seems like a 50 meter. But the basic unit of Isaac Sim is meter, not a centimeter. Let me show this. Yeah, if I move this cube a little bit, it seems like it's a meter unit, not a centimeter unit. Therefore, we need to set our unit again. And thankfully, the, the Isaac Sim has a great extension that is named USD Unit Converter. Yeah, if I change this unit into 0 0.1, seems like this cone becomes much more bigger than previous and one again and process button yeah seems like it becomes a smaller again i'd like to just say that this is something like let me say that this is some kind of cost let me say that one usd dollar is one isaac dollar then we can buy a one dollar apple i mean the us apple with this one isaac dollar but if one Isaac dollar is 0 0.1 USD dollar, I can buy a 10 apples because now the Isaac one dollar becomes a 10 dollars in USD dollar. But if I adjust 
that into 10, then now one Isaac dollar is 10 USD dollar. So one dollar becomes a dime. Yeah, you know, maybe I think you understand what I'm trying to talking about. Therefore, the thing we have to do is make our backgrounds and make our USD file much more smaller than before. I'm going to import our previous USD file again. And I will adjust this unit into 0 0.1. And 1. Okay. Yep. Now it becomes a hundred times smaller than before. And if I click this small object and click F button, it will adjust our view properly. Let's close this USD unit composer. And the next thing we have to do is creating a robot. But thankfully, NVIDIA already has a great example with loss implemented robot models that is named a Nova Cartel loss. But before importing this robot, we have to two things have to do before learning this. The one thing is let's click the window and extensions and type the loss to. And this is the loss to bridge. That is the bridge between the Isaac Sim and our loss to system. So I'm going to enable this. But in this tab, some of you will encounter the error that is named. You fail to enabling loss to bridge, something like that. That is because you don't have a specific package of loss to. That is name. So you can resolve this with this command sudo install loss humble. Oh, I forgot the important keyword apt. sudo apt install loss humble vision messages minus y. Yeah. Since I already installed this package, I don't have. I hadn't encountered any error in this process, but if you type this command and if you install this vision messages, you, you will not encounter this some kind of error. And the next thing we have to do is importing this robots onto our environment. What we want now is just importing this robot, not the whole the environment of this USD file. So to do this, I'm gonna click the like button and this button, add a current section. My machine is not so much expensive and not so much good. I'm going to show you about my environment, NVIDIA SMI. And now I'm using the NVIDIA RTX 3070. So please subscribe my channel and make me more richer. And I'm going to change my machine and I will make more tutorials. Uh, by the way, yeah. Now we have Nova Cartel Lost Lobot. I'm going to move a little bit upward and adjust its location a little bit something for the lane mm -hmm. this one should be 90 yeah. now i'm done and if i click this play button the whole simulation with lost nodes and lost topics will start to launch together i'm gonna click this play button and let's watch if there's any topics or nodes or something. Yeah, visualize the sensor messages. Lost the topic list. You can say several topics. And I'm going to visualize a whole bunch of topic messages into RBs. RBs. Let's change our frame from the map to base link. And I will add a TF message visualization and I will add some several images and point clouds for our 3D data. Yeah, it seems like it's so much complex and I'm gonna increase the decay time a little bit longer. Yeah, it seems like, yeah, becomes better now. In order to control our robot, I will use the RQT robot string application. Then I can move around my robot. And if I watch this RBS tool, now we can check this sensor data changes and the images changes together. 
Mm -hmm. Because this is, this is a robotics simulator. That's exactly what robotics engineers want, and they do experience with this. Let's stop our simulations. Yes, this is the end of our tutorial. And since we already know how to utilize the 3D models and data from the internet, and I'm gonna show you one another another demo with this one. As you see in here, I just changed the background and the basic environment of our simulation. And I also implemented and imported the Nova Carter NVIDIA implemented laws based robots. And if I learn, the, learn our Omniverse and Isaac Sim, and I can also watch and control our robots and our robot sensor data. Yeah, Iris 2 again. And if I control our robots and move this robots around, then as you see as before, you can check and you can see sensor data changes as the robot moves around. Mm -hmm. Like this. And point the clouds. This is the end of my tutorial. So thank you for watching my video. And don't forget to subscribe my channel if you want more practical and more exercises with media and laws too. Thank you for watching and have a great day.